guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I filmed a get ready with me on this look. I also showed you guys how I put in my extensions and like hid my short hair. It's kind of like my go-to thing that I do now. I have a lot of hair so whenever I wear these extensions I do have to kind of hide certain pieces. I'm going to show you guys how I did that today. I'm also showing you how I got this makeup look. And not my soft tan hands. <laughs> I really love this makeup look. It's kind of like a staple for me when it's like fall, winter time, and it's really cold outside. And today I was wearing like a burgundy jacket in my outfit post, and I just wanted to do a dark lip because I love feeling very dark and vampy. It's just my favorite, and especially when it's cold outside. I know that this makeup looks nothing crazy, spectacular, cool. You know, it's just I don't know. I just haven't been feeling really inspired or like haven't seen anything to really try out that's different and I always use the same technique on my eye shape just because I have a little bit of a hooded eye so I just do my own kind of technique to make sure it looks good on my eyes but if you guys have any makeup inspo that you want to send me feel free to check my social media links down below and send it to me that way so send me your favorite fall winter makeup looks because I am interested before we get started don't forget to subscribe I'll have a link down below in the description box it'll be the first link that you see and also when you do subscribe you can hit that little bell that's right next to it and that will get you notified every time I upload a video so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this look and I hope you enjoyed the video if you want to see how I did this makeup look and did my extensions and put them in then and let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so first step, I'm going to prime my eyes with this NARS eyeshadow primer. And then we're going to add some tape to the corners of our eyes just to make it easy to have a nice sharp line. Then going into this Makeup Revolution palette, I'm just going to take a nice cream shade and set that primer in place. Now I'm using the Natasha Denona Star Palette and I'm going to use this shade right here and put this into my crease. This is going to be the transition shade that I'm going to use to go towards my brows. So I'm going to fluff this into the crease and a little bit above the crease and we don't want to go above this color whenever we're putting on the rest of our eyeshadows. Moving on to this one right here, it's just a little bit darker and a little bit more cool toned. I'm going to focus this right in the crease. Um, again, not going above that first shade that we put on, but I'm just fluffing it right there in the crease. Again, not being too precise. Um, this is just going to add a little bit of definition. And to deepen up the crease a little bit more, I'm going to take a smaller blending brush, again with a dark brown eyeshadow, and go in the crease as well. Not going above those two shades that we just put on. Then I'm going to take the first shade we used and just blend out the edges just so we don't have any harsh lines. Moving on to the Makeup Revolution palette again, I'm going to use that black and a small, dense, fluffy brush. And I'm going to make a V in my outer V, so I'm just going to do a little bit of black in my crease and a little bit right there at my upper lash line. So first I'm going to quickly blend out the edges of my eyeshadow and then I'm going in with the glitter glue and I'm going to put this all over my lid. I always like to use this when I'm using a really glittery pigmented eyeshadow just so it sticks and really pops on the eyelid. So I'm going to take these two shades in the star palette and just pop them onto the lid as well and then repeat the process on the other eye. Then I'm going to take my brush, that was the smallest one that I used with the dark brown, and I didn't put any additional product on, I just used whatever was left on the brush and blended out the edges of the glitter eyeshadow. Then we're going to do a winged eyeliner, which I rarely do anymore, which is crazy. Um, but I'm using the Makeup Forever Matte Liquid Liner, and I'm just going to create a wing with this. After that, I just popped on some lashes from Ilore. I'll leave down below what they are. And then I'm going to prime my face. I'm going to use the Smashbox Primer Water and then the Kanan Austin Mattifying Primer as well. This is a great primer to neutralize some redness and to fill in your pores.
going in with my Shook foundation, as Davis likes to call it. This is the Sonia Kashuk Satin Matte Foundation, and I'm going to blend this on my face with a Japanese beauty blender. Really love this. You can get it from Ulta. They have like a little gift set with a smaller sponge and a cleanser um, for $18. It's really nice. I highly recommend it. I think you can only get it online, but if you find it in store, definitely snag it. Then I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I'm going to put this underneath my eyes and in the center of my face to conceal and also brighten these areas. After that, I'm going to set with my Flower Beauty Powder in L01. I love this powder. I think it's amazing. It really gives you an airbrushed look to the skin. So I like to bake with this, and it just melts in the skin beautifully, and it dusts away just amazing. So after that, I'm going to do my brows. I'm using the Benefit Cabral. I'm just going to breeze right through this because my brows, I feel like, take a while, and I don't really change them up too much. Um, I just fill them in the shape that they are, and that's about it. And I'll just set them with this Anastasia Brow Gel in Brunette. Then I'm going to take this Too Faced brush and dust away the baking that we did. And then going in with my favorite drugstore bronzer, I'm using the Neutrogena Healthy Skins little multicolor bronzer. It's amazing. Gives you a nice warm tan look. And I'm just going to bronze my face with this. And the brush I'm using is by Tom Ford. Taking this e.l.f. Pressed Mineral Bronzer, I'm going to contour with it. This has a nice ashy undertone to it, so I like to contour with this. It is pretty dark, so just use a light hand, but it does blend out really well. For blush, I'm using my favorite one that I can't get enough of. It's the Ulta Velvet Blush in Princess. This is my go-to blush. I just love it. Honestly, I haven't used anything else ever since I got this because I'm just addicted to it. Then I'm going to blend it out with my Duo Fiber Brush. And then to highlight, I'm using this Essence Highlighter that is amazing. It's the Pure Nude Highlighter in Be My Highlight. And I'm just going to apply that with this Sephora brush. And this, br this highlighter is really great if you have larger pores as well. And if you accidentally go over your pores, this doesn't accentuate them or anything like that. It's a really nice smooth powder. And it doesn't have a lot of glitter or anything like that in it. Gonna use my NARS eyeliner in Via Veneto, and I'm gonna put this on my waterline. And then I couldn't decide what color, and I decided to go with this one right here. And I'm going to brush this up against my lower lash line to really smoke this look out. And then taking the first shade we used, I'm going to just blend out the edges of that just so it's not a harsh, stark line underneath. After that, I'm going to apply some mascara on my bottom lashes. I'm using the Benefit Roller Lash. Then I'm going to highlight with the highlighter that we used on our face. I'm just going to put that underneath my brows. And that is the eyes. Now we're going to move on to lips. I believe this is the True Brown K lip liner from Kylie Cosmetics. Kylie has really great lip liners. They're really nice and smooth and very pigmented. So I went ahead and filled in most of my lips with this lip color. And then I'm going to go in with another Sephora Cream Lip Stain. I love these. I've been using them constantly. And this is in the shade 14. And then after you do your lips, your whole face is completely done. I hope you guys like this look. I really loved it. It was so vampy and it just looked amazing in pictures. Moving on to hair, I use the Foxy Locks Ombre Extensions in Honey Spice. They're my favorite. I've been using them for so long. Ever since I started going lighter with my hair, these are the ones that I use, and they match really well. Um, the brown doesn't really match my brown, but with my hair down, you can't even tell. So I'm going to section off a small layer. I'll show you right here when I turn around. 
I like to take this layer and just tie it up. You'll see I do everything else pretty much as normal but I always tie this layer up because this always shows the most whenever I wear extensions so after I tie that up I'm gonna put a three clip weft in and then I curl as I go um, so whenever I like the next section down and put that hair extension in I'll curl my hair with the hair extensions I didn't show that full process in this video just because it would have been forever but the whole key is to just curl your hair with the extensions and then at the end I show you how I tuck away and hide some of my shorter hair just so you can't see it in the extensions. I have the most problems with the pieces that I have framing my face. I usually have to pin those back which you'll see. But I do everything else as you know you normally would with hair extensions. I just section down a little bit of hair, clip in an extension, and then curl them. These are my favorite extensions. I do have a coupon code if you want to check them out down below. And then we got to my final top layer. And this is when I just wait on putting extensions in. And I go ahead and curl my top layer. And then I'll add in more after I'm done curling it just to see. My right side is thicker. I have more hair on that side. So I have to put more extensions on that side. So you can see I have one right there. But once I style it, hairspray, you won't be able to see that track in my hair. But right here I'm going to section this little part over and I'm going to add a couple hair extensions right in here just to add some length in here because I do have a lot of shorter layers in this section. So I'm just going to add two one clip wefts, curl those and then flip that section back over. I'm using a Numi one, it's a 32 millimeter one which is just a one and a half inch barrel. So after that I like to brush through it and get it kind of styled how I would want to wear it. And then this is the time where you can see right there my shorter pieces are at in the front. This is when I take these shorter pieces and I will twist them. And I just keep twisting them until they eventually roll up into this little ball. And then what I do is I use long bobby pins. I highly recommend long bobby pins unless you have really short hair because the long bobby pins you can put more hair in and it's just easier and they hold a lot better so I highly recommend them. So they're thick and they're really tight so your hair's not going to fall out of these bobby pins. So you can see how long this bobby pin is, I mean it's insane. <laughs> I just do that with the pieces I don't like. I'll just go through, put my hair forward, and like this piece right here, you can just really tell that it's shorter hair. So I just twist it up and then put it in the back of my head, and then I just pin it down. If you pin it towards the back of your neck, you're not going to be able to see any of the pieces that you pin because this these extensions are a lot of hair, and somebody would have to really dig through them to see all the pieces you, you pin back. Then the last thing I like to do is just tease the crown of my head and that's to cover any extensions and add some extra volume and then you are done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!